Hello, I'm Jill at Ingvid, and today's lesson is about the UK as a, a place geographically, uh, UK standing for United Kingdom. So the UK is made up of four separate but united countries. Okay, so England, which is where I am. Scotland, which is to the north, uh, Wales, which is to the west, and Northern Ireland, which is across the sea, and it's the top part of the island of Ireland, uh, the top part, the Northern Ireland part, and there is a border between it and the, the southern part of the island, which is the Republic of Ireland which is independent of the UK. So that's a republic, um, although it's, it's all one island, there is a border. So it's all a bit complicated geographically and politically, um, but that's the way it's developed. So, okay, so you may have seen my interview uh, with a Scottish poet uh, if you haven't seen that, you uh, if you want to know a bit more about Scotland, uh, do watch uh, that interview with uh, Hugh Macmillan, um, uh, which has a lot of in interesting information about Scotland uh, in the present day, as well as some history, very interesting history. Uh, so in this lesson, I'm going to be focusing mostly on England. Um, so just to talk about the country and how it sort of is divided up into cities um, and then going through into the countryside, uh, the, the variety that there is, like in most countries. So the big cities, London is the capital and the population is currently in twenty. 21, as we're filming this, uh, the population is over 9 million people um, in London. Um, then another big city is Birmingham in the Midlands. It's oh, about um, maybe 100 miles north of London. That has over 2 million population. And another big city, Manchester, which is up in the northwest which also has over 2 million population. Okay, so the word that you would use for a city or a town, towns are a little bit smaller than cities, uh, is urban. It's an urban area if it's a city because it has a lot more buildings. Uh, it's built up. Um, it may be office buildings more than any other type of building. OK, so coming down from cities then, if you're going out, out of the city a, a short way where people tend to live, that's called the suburbs. You've got the word herbs that comes from urban and it's the suburbs, meaning it's slightly away from the urban centre. So the suburbs uh, and the adjective from that is suburban. And that tends to be where people live. You get more houses, more residential buildings in the suburbs. OK, right. And then coming further out again, you get the countryside. It's a bit confusing that the word country comes here, as well as being a country, England, uh, the countryside or the country um, it's nice to spend time in the country can actually mean out in the countryside where it's more fields and farming, agriculture, um, farm animals and so on. Not so many buildings, but lots of fields and trees. So that's called rural. So we've got urban, suburban and rural referring to the countryside with farming, agriculture, okay, and confusingly in the country, OK. 
Okay, so you can only tell usually from the context of what people are saying, uh, whether the, the word country refers to a country like these or this rural countryside. Usually if you say the countryside, that makes it much clearer what you're referring to. Okay, and then the whole of um, England, also Scotland and Wales and Northern Ireland also are, have smaller areas called counties, okay, which are quite big um, geographical areas with a, it, their own name. Um, often they end in the word shire, um, so examples are Yorkshire and Derbyshire. So if you say the word shire on its own, because it is a word on its own, meaning any county is a shire, it's pronounced shire. But when it's added on the end of an actual county name, it's pronounced sh, sh, because the first part has more emphasis than the second. So it's Yorkshire, Derbyshire, like that. And if you want any more information on that, uh, two other Ingvid tutors, Benjamin and Jade, have done videos on um, the pronunciation of um, place names, um, not just the Shire names, but also places ending Ham. So this is Birmingham, um, 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 Birmingham, not Birmingham, but Birmingham. So uh, have a look at Jade and Benjamin to see if you'd like to do a bit more on pronunciation of uh, UK place names. Okay, so the shires, Yorkshire, Derbyshire, but some counties, they don't have the word shire at the end. You get all sorts of different names. For example, Somerset, Kent, Devon, Cornwall, okay, and then the, these three, uh, which are just to the northeast of London, going upwards. The next, the first one you come to from London is Essex. The next one, north of Essex, is called Suffolk, and the one to the north of Suffolk is called Norfolk, and they, as three counties together can be referred to as East Anglia. Okay, so East Anglia refers to these three counties. They are separate counties, but they have this extra name collectively as well. Okay. Right, so that's the counties. And then in each area of the country, uh, we have councils, which are the local authorities so uh, they look after all the local services like uh, refuse collection, um, education, looking after the uh, street maintenance, uh, street lighting, local libraries, all that kind of thing. Education, did I mention that? So all sorts of things that are um, looked after on a local level, looking after local parks, uh, you know, cutting the grass, all that sort of thing. So in the London area, being such a big city, there are th 33 councils in total for the whole of the London area. So that's a lot. Okay. And then within the council areas, the councils are broken down into smaller areas called wards, and those are represented by councillors who are political. They belong usually to a, a, a political party uh, and people vote for them every four years. We have council elections and you can only vote within your own ward uh, for maybe two or three. Uh, each ward has two or three councillors. Um, representing it and acting as a, a a contact person for local people if they have any issues.
they can uh, see their local councillor. Okay. Right, so um, I hope that's been uh, a useful summary of just an overview, really, of how the UK is made up of four countries and then how England in particular uh, has these big cities and the, uh, the different county names and so on, and 33 councils in London. Um, so if you'd like to do a quiz on this subject, just go to the website, um, ingvid.com, and do the quiz. And uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Okay, bye for now.